Every year, the Chinese celebrate the New Year with a grand celebration. A beginning of a new year, new promises, and a chance to make the wrong and to right again. But there's one thing that brings these people luck and power. The dragon. As part of the Chinese zodiac, the people dance around with the costumes made to look like these majestic beasts in honor of them. But that's not all that's behind the story of this magical being. There's much more to this story. It is unclear which mythological dragon Draco represents, but the most commonly accepted version of Draco's arrival into the heavens is that Draco was the dragon killed by Cadmus. Cadmus was the brother of Europa, who was carried off to the island of Crete by Jupiter, who transformed into the form of a white bull. Cadmus was ordered by his father to go in search of his sister, and was told that he could not return unless he brought Europa back with him. He was unsuccessful in his quest, and was forced to travel to Apollo's oracle for directions to a new home. Cadmus followed the oracle's advice and found a suitable site for his new city. He sent his attendants to find fresh water to offer as an appeasement to Jupiter. The attendants discovered a cave with a spring, but were all killed by what the Roman poet Ovid described as the Serpent of Mars, a creature with a wonderful golden crest. Fire flashed from its eyes, its body was all puffed up from poison, and from its mouth set a triple row of teeth, flickered a three-forked tongue. After his companions did not return, Cadmus himself went into the cave and found the dragon. He slayed it with a spear, and then was given orders from the god Minerva to sow the dragon's teeth in the ground. From the teeth sprung fierce warriors, who battled each other until only five were left. These five, along with Cadmus, were the first people of the city of Thebes. The etymology of the name Draco came from the Greek name Dracon, which meant dragon or serpent. The term dragon is used for the mysterious snake-like creature in mythology. The constellation Draco is composed of 14 stars. Starting at the tip of the head of Draco is Rastaban, which is 380 light years away and is the third brightest star with an apparent magnitude of 2.79. From Rastaban, the head splits into two sides. The left side is a double star Kuma, which both stars have an apparent magnitude of 3.88, and the first star is 98.7 light years away, and the second star is 99.4 light years away. The right side of the head is the star Edaman which has an apparent magnitude of 2.4, making it the brightest star in Draco, and is 154.3 light years away. The final star of the head, in the beginning of the body, is a star Grumium, which has an apparent magnitude of 3.75, and is 112.5 light years away. The next star is Notus Subendus, which has an apparent magnitude of 3, and is 97.4 light years away. The next star is Till, which has an apparent magnitude of 3.9974, and is 148 light years away. The next star, Chi Draconis, has an apparent magnitude of 3.570 and is 26.3 light years away. The next star, Zeta Draconis, the fifth brightest star, has an apparent magnitude of 3.17 and is 330 light years away. The next star is Eta Draconis, the second brightest star, with an apparent magnitude of 2.73 and is 92.1 light years away. Both Zeta and Eta Draconis share the name Aldevane. The next star, Theta Draconis, has an apparent magnitude of 4.12 and is 68.6 light years away. The next star is Edisich, the fourth brightest star, with an apparent magnitude of 3.3 and is 101.2 light years away. The next star, Thuban, has an apparent magnitude of 3.65 and is 303 light years away, and used to be the North Pole star in ancient times. The next star is Kappa Draconis, which has an apparent magnitude of 3.88 and is 490 light years away. The final star Draco is Gianfar, which has an apparent magnitude of 4.1 and is 334 light years away. These are the 14 stars that make up Draco. Draco is not an easy constellation to find. Fortunately, Draco is a circumpolar constellation, which means that it can be seen any time of the year. The easiest way to find Draco is to look for its trapezoid-shaped head. Its head is north of the Hercules constellation, and the rest of his body makes an S-shape 
that ends between the Big and Little Dipper. In the constellation Draco, there is a meteor shower that comes in October called the Draconids. It is called the Draconids because the meteor shower itself appears in front of the Draco constellation in the northern hemisphere. Unlike some of the meteor showers we can see from Earth, this meteor shower cannot be seen by the naked eye, but can only be seen through a telescope while looking at the Draco constellation. Draco has a dwarf elliptical galaxy within its constellation. The Draco dwarf galaxy is 250 million light years away from the Milky Way galaxy center. It is the least luminous galaxy known, with an absolute magnitude of negative 8.6, and is 3,500 light years in diameter. The Dragon Slayer, or Draco Group, is a trio of galaxies located in the northern area of the Draco constellation. Two of the galaxies are barred spiral galaxies, and the other is an elliptical galaxy. The trio themselves have not been categorized as a compact, and are too small to be considered a galaxy cluster, making it so small it cannot be seen by the naked eye. The Cat's Eye Nebula is a planetary nebula in the Draco constellation that is 3.262 light years away from the Earth and has a magnitude of 9.8. One of the most complex nebulae known, it has evidence of remarkable structures like knots, jets, bubbles, and sine wave arcs. In the center of the nebula there is a hot, bright star that a thousand years ago lost its outer envelope and produced the Cat's Eye Nebula. The Hubble telescope observations reveal a number of faint rings around the Cat's Eye that are spherical shells ejected by the star in the center. The Tadpole Galaxy is a disrupted barred spiral galaxy located 400 million light years away from Earth towards Draco. It is most unique for its trail of stars about 280,000 light years long and the massive bright blue star clusters. It has been hypothesized that the tail of the galaxies was caused by a collision with another galaxy. It is located around the middle of the dragon's body. The Spindle Galaxy is a spiral or lenticular galaxy. It is located in the Draco constellation at about 40 million light years away. This galaxy is famous for its extended disk of dusk, seen exactly edge on. One's at the ready. Scared Potter. You wish. Draco is mentioned in a very popular movie series. In the Harry Potter series, there is a character named Draco Malfoy. In Harry Potter, Draco acts as Harry's rival and one of his antagonists. He is in Slytherin House, whose mascot is a serpent. Any snake-like figure was often referred to as a dragon. Draco Malfoy is portrayed by the English actor Tom Felton.